Good day and welcome to Health Tech Weekly, the show on technology that helps create a healthier you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. Before we get into this week's health tech item, make sure you head over to our site at htweekly.com for links to everything covered in this episode, including contact information and a whole lot more. In this episode of Health Tech Weekly, we look at some of the incredible advances on the horizon with prosthetics and communication with paralyzed individuals. The holy grail for this type of research is to find a way to interface directly with the brain. Researchers have been experimenting with ways to move computer cursors around the screen to different targets using our minds. If you can move a cursor purposefully, then it's just a question of writing the software to change the cursor movement to, for instance, movement of an arm or leg prosthetic device. Now, up till now, the accuracy has been hard to nail down, but Stanford University has released news that they have created a new algorithm called ReFit that is much more accurate than any to come before. In some cases, it approaches the speed and accuracy of a manually moved cursor. And this is all while still being tested. Now, it's still being tested on rhesus monkeys and the data seems very promising. Most of the research in this area has been focused on recording brainwave data while performing a series of prearranged tasks and then going back and looking at the recording to try to parse out what part of the brain waves represent that motor function. The Stanford ReFit system works by analyzing eye movement in real time, aiming for a target and moving the cursor towards the target in much the same way we use hand-eye coordination to perform tasks. The software learns as it goes, and it begins to acquire targets more and more efficiently over time. The test subjects had to mentally move the cursor to the targets in order and then hold it there for half a second before moving on. The refit algorithm achieved 75 to 85 percent of the real arm movement's speed and accuracy. Exciting stuff, right? The opportunities for this type of research offers all kinds of opportunities for wounded veterans, paralyzed individuals, and it's just very significant. I don't think it will take that long for the paralyzed to walk again. This research has been funded to date by numerous foundations, including the Christopher and Dana Reeve Paralysis Foundation, National Science Foundation, and DARPA. Human clinical trials for the cursor movement algorithm are being planned and hopefully will begin soon. And that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Health Tech Weekly. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. I'll be back again soon with another episode here of the Health Tech Weekly show. In the meantime, make sure you head over and check out all of the information and links from this episode, as well as all of our other episodes and subscription information, how you can subscribe for free in iTunes and other ways on your mobile apps and a whole lot more. You can find all of that over at htweekly.com. You get there, there's a show notes link at the top of the page, there's a lot of other information there, and there are other articles posted throughout the course of the week, all available for you on the HT Weekly website. So make sure you head over there. If you'd like to get back in touch with me, perhaps you have a comment about an episode or you'd like to make a suggestion for a future episode, maybe you have a link to an article on another health tech item. Make sure you send those in to me here to podmedic at mac.com. I love to hear from you and I do respond back to each and every email that comes in. So make sure you keep those emails coming. That's it, we're gonna go ahead and close out this episode. I do wanna remind you that The road to a healthier you comes with small, purposeful steps. So I encourage you to take a step towards a healthier you today. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned here to Health Tech Weekly.